Hi right, guys, welcome back to 2FC, aka 2 Footballs Combined, and I'm in the car again on my way to Selhurst. Palace versus Stoke. It's a must win game. It, it, it's a must win game. They haven't beaten us, Selhurst, in a long time. Um, so obviously, Butland's going to have the best performance of his fucking life. But I'm hoping. I'm hoping and praying that we start, like I said last week, 4-3-3, 3-4-3. Benteke hopefully has got the rust out this week. He can start up top and take his chances and actually have someone that fucking shoots because it was painful last week where we were having all these attempts, or not, we weren't even having attempts, we were having really decent possession in dangerous areas but not doing anything with it no one really taking taking the pot no one really shooting um, taking short free kicks when we've got three four decent free kick takers on the pitch in dangerous positions around the box we're taking short free kicks fuck knows why but hopefully hopefully we get something today three points is, I think is what we all expect three points is all what we deserve um, to be quite honest with you we're unbeaten at home in three yes a couple of them are draws two of them are two all draws but it's, I suppose that's good like we're getting points at home we're not getting them on the road but we're getting them at home what we really, really need to do today is not pick up any injuries. With Brighton on Tuesday, we don't. We need our strongest squad to face them because a lot of people will be on Parrish's back, Hodgson's back if we lose to Brighton. That's that is obviously a given. We need those three points. But today, three, four, three, four, three, three. I have Townsend and Wilf on the on the wings. I have Benteke up top. Loftus Cheek needs to start because he's been our absolute best player without a shadow of a doubt this season. Um, oh, I'm not. Uh, it's, it's a cold night, a uh, cold morning. Even I'm on two hours sleep and. Uh, I'm, it's 20 past 10, exactly the same time as last week. Um, and I'm on the road already. So hopefully I'll get to Selhurst around half 11-ish. It's saying half 11 when I turn up. So I get there, I can find a decent spot again to park up. And uh, I'll try and make this vlog a little bit better than last week. Only, only one thing to say, guys, and that is come on! You palace! Second minute, Shakiri just fucking runs for everyone. Slots it past Hennessy. Fuck my life. Get in! Get in there! Oh. Fucking two minutes later, Loftus Cheek, one all. <laughs> fucking fantastic. Well in, son! Come on, man.
Tom Wilf. Fucking fantastic. Captain fucking fantastic. Absolute blinder. Absolute blinder. Um, the game itself, I wouldn't say it was a great game. I wouldn't say it was a shit game. But we definitely deserved the win. 100%. We had more dangerous attacks, even though any time Shakiri had the ball... It looked like they were going to score. His goal was, it was really nice. Really bad defending. No one put a foot in. He just ran through everyone. It didn't even look like he tried turning. It was literally just a straight run. But you win some, you lose some. And we, we won the game. So end of the day, the goal doesn't matter. But it does. Like We've got... Brighton on Tuesday. If we play the way we were playing today against Brighton, they're going to tear us a new one. And they're going to be really up for it because it's Palace and Brighton. They're going to be really up for it. But back to this fucking game. We'll talk about Palace Brighton when we beat them on Tuesday. Um, yeah, really good. Like, I'm glad we equalised so soon after they scored. Because I think... If it had gone any longer, it, I don't think we would have scored, to be quite honest with you. Um, I can't even remember Loftus-Cheek's goal. <laughs> I, don't, I can't remember it. Sacco's goal just messed my whole entire head up. <laughs> uh, I'll just get on to Sacco's goal, I believe. Fuck it. Um, Wilf gets the ball in from the left hand side and Peter Crouch is in there defending ends up coming back out to Wilf who puts a ball in or it might have been uh, Schlupp actually that put the ball in it went to Kabai he shot it come off the post and it could not have fallen any better for anyone it could have been anyone and that would have been in but 
I am so happy that it was Sacco that got the goal. He definitely deserves it. Um, his defensive work the past couple of games has been a bit... Uh, holds the ball too long. He tries all his little trick moves, which a lot of teams now know what he's about. Um, so I get a bit worried when he's on the ball too long. But... I don't care. He scored his goal. First game as captain. And yeah, fan fucking fantastic. Um, same as last week. We we kept doing these short fucking free kicks. Um, we did have a we didn't have that many free kicks around the dangerous areas, but when we could have launched it in took short, I know Benteke wasn't on the pitch in the first half, he came on at half time but even when he was on the pitch we were doing short ones but he's he's really good in the air which we've missed and yes he's not at full fitness it didn't look like it was at full fitness but he was up in the air for everything and he won I, I, I want to say 90% of the balls that he went for. Um, but yeah, Loftus Cheek looked a bit sluggish today. He didn't know where he wanted to do. We, we, we had an attempt, which I, I, I think I've got the video footage. I can't remember. It was in the first half. Um, we just wanted to pass it back the whole time, but Loftus Cheek got the ball. And he did cross it in. I can't remember who ended up having the shot. But he ended up crossing it in. But before crossing it in, he was trying to look. He looked backwards to pass to Joel Wall. And the guys behind me were going, why, why is he being so negative? Like, he was, he was being really negative with the play. He wanted to pass it back instead of attacking the ball or attacking the goal. It's not just him, the whole team, to be fair. But it's when we're in a fucking I know it's only it's not Christmas yet, we're not in a relegation scrap, but we are. It's a relegation scrap until we're the fuck out of that relegation scrap. End of end of story. So being that negative, keep passing it back, keep passing it back. The amount of times that we had a fast break or a counter attack or something and we'd slowed the ball right down, no just run we've got Townsend who's quick we've got Zaha who's quick, we've got Loftus-Cheek who can handle the ball when he's on, like last week, every time he had the ball it stuck to his chest, it stuck to his foot, it stuck to his head brilliant, today not so much, 50p head 50p foot but whatever Schlup uh, didn't look great. He kept losing his man. Both halves. Um, the passing in general throughout the whole team was shit. But we carried on. Like no matter how shit the performance from us was, we were still getting a few attempts off. Should have been more, could have been more, but we were getting these attempts off. Overall, we won. We won the game. I am a very, very happy man. <sighs> now on to Tuesday. Let's fucking destroy Brian. Please let us destroy Brian. This. As I said at the beginning, will be whether a lot of heat goes on Parrish and Hodgson. Because we haven't had this derby, this rivalry game in five, six seasons. They're going to be up for it. Let's just fucking hope we are up for it. Thank you, Palace. You've given me a nice happy end to the day. Well, I say end to the day. I'm going to work now. So, <laughs> but... I am a happy man. Much love. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And peace.